In this video, we are marching onwards on Pico CTF 2022. Capture the flag, lots of fun learning to be had here. I'm gonna hop over to my computer screen and we'll get into the real stuff. I have a Sublime Text Editor open as well as a Linux command line terminal that I'll be doing a whole lot of my hacking from in Kali Linux as I have been throughout this whole video series. We are finally done with the second page of Pico CTF 2022. Let's move on to the third page and dive into a whole new set of challenges that we could explore and play with. Uh, actually, off the tails of the substitution zero challenge that we just did in the previous video, now we're still cruising in the cryptography category with substitution one. It says a second message has come in the mail. It seems almost identical to the first one. Maybe the same thing will work again. We could download the message here and let's go ahead and retrieve that. Uh, if this is just as simple and easy as the last one, I'm going to be a little bit bummed, but I don't have a whole lot of faith. Let's make a directory for substitution one. Let's hop over and let directory w get this down. And of course, if we need to throw this in quip quip, we very well could. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's just throw it in the quip quip. Bring it to the very top, quipquip.com. If folks weren't seeing that last video where we did this, scrolling down. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so in all reality, this didn't give us the key this time. So we wouldn't have been able to as easily figure out, hey, what maps to what here. Um, we, we would have to figure that out with our own frequency analysis, a Kasiski's test. If folks aren't familiar with that, Kasiski test, that's a way that you could do frequency analysis for determining substitution ciphers, knowing what the mapping is of the English language. Part of me wonders if there is Python code to be able to do this and just carve it out. Um, I haven't played with one of those before in all reality, but hey, they're trying to dig out and see what would map to what based off of common things in the English language. This is one method and one way of doing it in that way. It's actually pretty well known. Quip Quip can also help out with that, but I mean, Quip Quip does it. Quip Quip is, is, it, it is, is it JavaScript code or do they submit to something? I think they do something on their side. Oh no, they also have a minified JavaScript. We could probably dig into it if you really, really wanted to, but you don't, Maybe we don't need to. Maybe we can just press the I believe button and be totally grateful and ha thankful that we have tools to be able to do that for us. Um, in which case that made this challenge extremely easy. We could, did I paste it? Yeah, I did. So let's echo out that flag, carve that into flag.text and say that that challenge is over with. Uh, nothing wrong with that. We can keep cruising. We can move on to, I suppose, substitution two in the very next video. And uh, maybe we'll wrap up and be done with that in the crypto section. Is that the last, I'm, I'm filtering on the, hey, the cryptography category. It is, it is. Okay, so substitution two is that a uh, last set of substitution series and challenges. With that said, boy, oh boy, we are all done with that one. And that was a quick, quick video. Is it worth uploading? We're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this quick, super fun video. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I say it all the time. Love you. See you later.